yeah, it's standing uh, at an incline and kick sound is really good. Batteries perfectly, guys. The battery is nice. The efficiency of the combination, the motherboard, the battery packs. I don't know what they did. The 3000 watt motor, the 16 inch tire or the 12 inch rem size will help a lot also. But yeah, I'm really, really impressed by it because 50, uh, 60. No, let's say 50 kilometers I did, I had three bars left, uh, reused, let's say this better. Um, so it's 60%, 45 kilometers I did, around top speed in 50, 60 sometimes, and uh, overall speed was um, 30, so I push over 40 all the time, 40 cruising speed, some technical stuff, I lose speed, but overall <coughs> good battery performance. Button there. <laughs> the pattern is so good, man. So well balanced. The suspension geometry, it's what you need in the middle. Huh? And compress it there at the point at the center of the, the axle. At huh? the center, there comes the battery packs. It's all close together. You don't feel top heavy or more to the back because on the S22 the linkage is heavy at the back so even when on a standstill it will go backwards huh? when it's on and with the pattern it just stays straight perfectly straight also I like the not using an app I don't like the apps uh, I like the system of the Lipperkin I had it on the Abrams I had it on the Sherman and this one is even more evolved and it's so nice a PUM mode is perfect there's an explanation on other uh, channels, I don't go over this, I just give you the impression that I feel for an off-road kind of view point. Also on the road it's perfect for going on the road, carving, maybe on high speeds it gets wobbles, but you get used to it, you uh, counteract the wobbles if you're an experienced rider and you know the wheel, so, and thing is, yeah. It's really well balanced. Like Adam from Runway told you guys, he was really stoked. I saw his video, I was like, hmm, normally he's all neutral, more kind of neutral kind of guy about wheels, but man, he's right. Uh, this wheel is, uh, it's a new class and it's category. 60 inch, 12 inch run, man, the T4, man, it's from Big O, maybe the extreme, uh, What's it called? The uh, Bigode Extreme. Huh? I will have this wheel also for testing. The demo wheel. I'm gonna ask it. And uh, Dennis Hagoff, he uh, helped me get this demo wheel. I immediately bought it from him because it's so nice. I, uh, and I don't want to uh, ride S22 Pro anymore because this one outperforms everything. But if you are kind of jumper, big drops, that's when it still shines there. But for me, for me, kind of rider and style, I go like fast pace, technical, flowy, flowy trails with some drops and jumps, not too big. Even when it's big, I just take it easy then, you know. I don't need big air, I just want to have the flow and the speed and uh, the agility and. Uh, analyzing every bump in the road and just push it but with this suspension you don't you don't even yeah need to watch out for bumps it soaks everything up so comfortable because i prefer that kind of suspension i need comfort at the uh, small bumps and then when it compresses it goes progressively it gets harder and you get a good feeling good feeling road feeling also even with suspension and it's really there's no flex in the wheel you know when you ride it there's no flex it just reacts if you want to headed this direction it just goes and that's an overall uh, really good feeling especially off-road um, if you have like a turn you can really point it in the direction uh, and when there's a route if there's a little jump you jump it yeah 
Uh, you can see it on the channel also of EC Limburg. They are really tested the limits to get to get a feeling how it performs, what can I do with it. And I'm on Ralph film that day, so you can check it out on his channel, EC Limburg. Um, and yeah, um, and this uh, kind of reviews I'm doing, it's like an interview. I interview the writers, so I want to see what they think about this video because I'm not sponsored or whatever. And there's so many channels and reviews and unboxings, uh, but I just want to give you the experience and the in depth, detailed review of it. So, guys, if you and if you are uh, looking for some advice or you need to know something ask me in the comments and i will make a video of it uh, so yeah subscribe and uh, yeah and then ask me and uh, you will see in the future much more uh, in-depth videos also did you see the s23 pro uh, the the sliding systems and the falls so it's not only positive but what to improve and what to do to make it good i'm not bashing any kind of brand in the EFC world I'm just saying point it out you know to improve uh, I do uh, positive criticism huh not like negative about this or this I had so many troubles also with uh, different wheels but I always managed to uh, fix it if you have a good uh, seller out there so I do it with UC cells with Dennis Hagoff if you need uh, a wheel or with a good price just ask me you can pm me you contact me i also do repairs just for the hobby for the community i do it almost every day so if you're interested in this contact me but in europe i see there's a lot of viewers from uh, the usa america that's really nice guys uh, but i can't do the repairs of course for the shipment and everything that's uh, too much hassle but it's good to have you on the channel and uh, for in the future, there's only go also gonna be the big goat, the big goat extreme. I really want to get, so I'm gonna try to hook it up for me for, uh, from uh, Dennis after his review, and then I will go more in depth. And the thing is, man, the pattern, the pattern is good, man. Enough talking. Let's show you some footage and enjoy the footage. In here I will give you the impression because we don't have the luxury in this EVC world to just go to the store and test it, take it and test it if you want to have the wheel from the start or when it's not uh, on sale yet or it's a pre-order. That's why with this demo wheel I will show you it and the production wheel will be even more uh, refined and or better. So yeah, but now at this state just the demo wheel, it's man so nice it's it brings the hooligan out of you uh, you just want to push it it goes so effortless uh, it doesn't even matter if you go 40 it's it has like a second gear when you go uh, to 60 and then above 60 mm, off-road it's hard enough you know so if you want to brake or you need to dodge something real quick then you will maybe get some wobble but you can still uh, handle it really good only the braking you need to watch out, you get used to it, it's a little bit wobble. I will talk about this again when I'm used to the wheel. 
at this moment are really pushing it and it goes so fast and it jumps the suspension really really nice guys it's perfect for me it's a unicorn at this moment it's the best wheel for me nothing comes close to this okay that's 22 pro it's still nice eh? for it's it's for the jumpers getting big airs big drops it's also kind of good balance because the pedals are a little bit lower than the master the master had high pedals but when you're used to the pedals you don't need the highest kind of pedals you you just take the trails differently i will talk about this also here on the channel to give you advice to learn you some kind of tricks or tips advice not that i'm a best rider out there an expert of something no and just enjoy this uh, hobby and off-road i always off-road with uh, motocross and mix styles and motorcycles i don't even touch my motorcycle anymore because i really love the uc and with this wheel pff, i don't need a motorcycle anymore it is so so much fun but the off-road for me on road it is okay for like yeah, an half hour but then i hit the trails <laughs> you will see me go into the the green jungle not the concrete jungle i don't like it so much I even uh, after working you have uh, a hard day of work and then you go out with your machine in nature and getting one you get one with this machine this yeah it's really good balance the 66 lbs is more than enough for me some people will need more for the big jumps the drops but for me it's fine you tweak it you tune it there's a video also two cells one pack he, they show it perfectly also how the display works so i'm not gonna go over all this again so um, i will just give you here my straight answer my opinion my experience and i will do this also with every rider in my group uh, the hardcore riders in my group the, we have a small community here. Um, and also bigger group rides but uh, the people i always ride with my friends uh, so there's a jumper there's one that goes really technical big drops and there's one that goes big air, high speeds we have also. So we're really gonna test this wheel. So if you're interested in all of this, or you have some better ideas, let me know and subscribe guys. I really invest a little bit in also this microphone. So you have a, an ease of watching the videos, not like oh, with the bad sounds and everything. As you can see my channel, it always grows and productivity and the quality in the video so yeah keep it in mind I'm still new to this world of YouTubing but I'm doing my best and I'm also uh, have a family so I uh, don't have all the time that I want but I love doing my hobby but I'm also really happy to be with my family of course so yeah just give me a like or a dislike if you didn't like something tell me what you don't like and then I will improve it for you but I can't um, get to everybody eh? there's always some people that prefer this or prefer this uh, more than uh, what I'm doing on this channel so but that's why there's more diversity and more um, and more explanations and advice and information about the UC. It's still a small world and we need to make it bigger, legalize it in much more countries. But at this moment, the pattern for me it is the perfect wheel for what I do. Let's see uh, after 500 or maybe 1000 K kilometers on it, then I will get back to you. Also in between, of course, uh, to test everything and go in depth of everything tire width how it performs i did some trails i went really fast and it sticks to the road it's so well balanced and even when you see it the pedals are almost at the height of the axle so there you have good controls if you go above it's mm, but it's at the same so with the sack and the, with the sack 
of the suspension it sits really good for me also for pedal clearance it's enough you don't need a master with the biggest pedal clearance you just get used to it and um, yeah and, and you need to learn the, how to get experience with it you just take a different skills different technique to avoid stones and roots and with this wheel you point it and you shoot it and it goes yeah it's really nice I can talk here for ages, but <laughs> that will not be so interesting. Eh? Also, I'm gonna sh show you also some footage, guys, and I will give you the impression of how it goes and have a, an overall feeling about this wheel. So, enjoy, guys, enjoy the footage. Yeah, the cutout angle works. I have it on 60% because I don't like it spinning uh, out of control and then hit something and maybe burn a MOSFET off. Yeah, that's not a good idea. So 60% for me is enough. And uh, the loose sand, yeah. yeah the loose sand, uh, it will do pretty good because the motor has a lot of torque. It doesn't struggle so it keeps pushing and if you keep the same momentum it's easier to do another bicyclist i will catch him up easy <laughs> you know respect uh, other people on the trails guys so also wear good gear because it's needed when you have a cutout i had a cutout on s22 pro not the pro the, the stock version with the, uh, the problems with the engines yeah with the motor slippage stator slippage and all that so now i'm trusting this wheel it gives me a good feeling and it goes effortless the speed goes effortless it just push you and it uh, doesn't feel bad for it you know it wants to go it brings out the hooligan inside you that's how i uh, can explain it it's it's so so quick just wants to go and it doesn't feel bad for it it's not like uh, it just goes guys enjoy enjoy the footage 